Uh, Luke, welcome back. After a little international break, um, I thought I'd, I thought we'd have a, a little chat about goal scoring. Yep. Specialist subject. <laughs> yeah. Um, if that's all right. So, I mean, is it is it something that you think people can learn, or are you kind of are you kind of born with a knack scoring goals? Um, I'd say it's a bit of both, really. Like um, before the gaffer came in, I didn't really have like much like training in like learning where to be and stuff like that and then obviously with the gaffer being the next striker and stuff he's worked with all of us strikers every day like working on movements and you can see it happening in games and stuff as well so um, I'd say it's a bit of both really because obviously through your younger age groups um, at Argyle you know you scored loads of goals anyway you know you were you were pretty prolific and then first on the scene here scoring a loads of goals too so it's kind of it's always been in you, I'm guessing, is that? Um, I'd say so, yeah, but I'd say the service from my teammates has also been yeah. quite good as well. The gaffer always says, like, get yourself in the positions and, you know, the other players will find you, and I think that's that's probably shown me quite a couple, well, pretty much all my goals, because I don't think you see me dribble past three players and just put it in the top corner. I don't know, gelling him at home here, nicked inside a couple and then smacked yeah. it in the top corner. Well, that's the only one that I can think, <laughs> only one I can think of then. Um, yeah, I'd say it's a bit of both, really. So, the, so you, the gaffer did have a, an impact then when, when when he came in, and is that is that more about where to be and the runs to make rather than actually the um, actual finishing part of it? Yeah, I'd say it's getting into the positions to you know where we can score from. Like, obviously, when we get in the positions, it's obviously down to us to score. But I think we have had like a lot of training in how to you know get into those positions, and I think throughout this season and last season I think our players have shown that they've got the quality to put it on a plate for us yeah I mean when you've got people like Conor Grant putting in yeah. balls like he is even Macaulay Gillespie the other day Macca put in a, a beautiful ball for Kieran I mean it yeah. must be glorious yeah I don't know what Macca was doing <laughs> yeah, a, bit, a bit out of, out of his depth but um, no like we have got quality players everywhere in the squad and you know like the gaffer said to us when, when I first came and he went just get yourself in those areas and these players will deliver do you always want to be a striker? Like from <laughs> yeah, um, it's really weird because I actually started off like younger when I was I was a centre back. Really? And, uh, yeah, and then I got tired of that, and I was like, no, I want to go score some goals now. <laughs> so um, as I got older, yeah, like, I've always like just enjoyed scoring goals. Centre back? Yeah. Do you reckon you could do a job now? No chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, no chance. I can't. I can't imagine that at all. <laughs> Big rugged guy knocking their heads yeah. away. Wow. Um, so why did you change then? Just because you wanted to score goals, you were jealous uh, of the guys scoring against you, maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't say jealous of them scoring against you, but I just, just got not bored, but I was just like, well, I want to try something different. I just want to score some goals now. <laughs> so that's what happened. Do you have any like players you looked at and, and kind of tried to model your game on, or thought I want to be a bit like him? Um, not when I was younger, no, I think it was more about just playing the game and enjoying now and obviously now that I'm a bit older it's a bit different, you know, like results are the most important thing and we've been, you know, getting a lot of good ones this season. Mm -hmm. um, but I, w I wouldn't say I look up to anyone in terms of how I want to play, like I want to play like myself and stuff like that, um, so yeah. Is there any? Is, I mean, have you have you looked at? I suppose working alongside people like Ryan Hardy, who's a different sort of player to you. Niall, similarly, um, Kieran and, and Reese. Do, do you do you look at them at all in training and think, oh, maybe if I did a, if I did that, I could I could get an extra I don't know an extra um, couple of seasons or or not? Like you said, you just kind of think, well, these are my it's what I know I'm good at. Yeah, um, I think we all have different qualities and stuff and different things that we can bring to the table um, obviously Rye's got his pace Niles just <laughs> his acceleration is a joke obviously kit has got the experience and Reese has also got the pace um, I'd, like I said I say we all have different qualities that um, work well together like whoever we're playing with um, but I think in training it's just you know focus on yourself you've got a little bit more pace this season haven't you going to FIFA yeah. yeah, and real life, I'm not. And real life, yeah. yeah. I'm definitely quicker this season. 
Um, you've, you've got quite a lot of praise this season from the manager and from 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 fans and and reporters or whatever. You know, your goals have have come this season as well, but also the kind of link up playing. It's a, you, do you feel you're playing a slightly deeper role than you were at times last season to help link with the forward line and the midfield? Um, I'd say so. Yeah, like I think it's become more um, apparent this season as to last season that like I'm dropping in a bit deeper linking up the play and stuff which gives obviously Rai the freedom to stretch the defenders but um, it's it's something that we work on in training and stuff like that and um, I'm just enjoying it <laughs> it does seem to be working because that I mean I know you're good buds off the pitch but you and you and, and Ryan seem to link up really well you know is it just almost um, telepathic I'd say so yeah I, like we've obviously when he first came in two three seasons ago now like obviously we you know just got really close from now obviously we share rooms and that and live across the road from each other and stuff so um, I'd say we've got um, a pretty good like understa- understanding of each other um, but it's not just with Rai like obviously Rai with Keir like me with Keir like all the strikers have just got a pretty good understanding of each other yeah, actually thinking about it was your, was your first game back from Truro the same day as Ryan's debut. Um, on the day, yeah, I was it was Carlisle a week, the week, it was a week after. after yeah. yeah, yeah, he came on and scored that game, didn't he? Yeah, but, yeah. So it's kind of since his first game, you've both been scoring. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah, but like I said, like, I think all of the strikers, you know, we've got good relationships with each other, like pretty good understandings on how we play and our play style. Let's talk a little bit about kind of. The, the day-to-day and um, maybe away from football a little bit because it can be quite a pressurised situation you know it's, it's all happy and going well at the moment but away from away from football what sort of things do you do or do you not do you still watch all the time um, yeah obviously while I've been away like, I watched um, watch the boys here it was a great performance um, I like to play a bit of golf actually to oh, be right. fair yeah me and Rai go and play <laughs> with a couple of the other boys but, um, yeah usually when my team's Liverpool, so when Liverpool are on, I like to watch them play as well. Um, yeah. You haven't been invited up to Anfield by the gaffer yet? <laughs> Not yet, no. Still working on that. <laughs> um, what's your golf like? Um, it's improved a lot, I'd say. Like, still a couple of areas for improvement. I think I'm the biggest hitter in the team. Like, got the longest drive, so I think right, I have a few words to say about that. But is what it is the power game yeah I think it's all with the technique I think. Yeah, his no. technique's shocking <laughs> um, you mentioned you watched the game last week yeah. uh, put us top of the league I mean you've been obviously playing in the game so watching us and, and seeing how we got on how did you find that um, it was a joy to watch you know, I turned around to some of the boys and I said like it's like you don't realise it while you're playing but watching it we do play some very very good football and um yeah it was a joy to watch and a good result um but obviously you said about top of the league it's still <laughs> still very early days to get ahead of ourselves we've just got to take each game as it comes we all are getting excited about it fans are but it's obviously within the camp it as you said it is early days and i suppose it doesn't really mean too much right now other than the fact that we are winning matches um it means a little bit, obviously, like, you know, football's all about winning and results, but um, I think it'll, it it doesn't really matter until the end of the season, you know, we've got off to a good start, but we need to just take every game as it comes. And it's the old cliche, isn't it, you know, ride that crest of a wave and confidence and, and keep the run going when it can. Yeah. Um, How do you do that? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure, like, we've, you know, we've just being confident in every game that we've been in you know we haven't really felt like a team's gonna you know come here or we're gonna go away and we're gonna have like a tough day you know we get the right work and we get the right information in and um i think we've just there's just a real like sense of confidence around the camp at the minute top stuff luke thank you very much mate